everybody. I hope you as well. I'm just really warm, but I want to get this ultimate weapon nonsense tidied up and kicked in the face and whatever have we. I don't even remember. Do you know? Recently, I heard the Song of Storms. No fucking clue where, but it's been in my head, and I can't get rid of it. Don't know why. Just can. Has a catchy tune and all that, I guess. Right. Let me get me some volumes. Oh my god, I can do a miscue roulette. Ooh, I'm about to actually have to go and do that. Right. That's not the Praetorium. It is Porta de Sabania. Are we ready for devastation? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's actually 3D. <laughs> I kind of collide with it. I was wanting to look, look in it and see if it would happen, but nah. It's it's a full entity, which is cool. That's the heart of Sabik right there. Pew. So I've actually genuinely been looking forward to this because, like, I've done this, obviously, millions of times. I do MSQ all the time. It's one of the reasons Jam has most of the battle classes, well, most all of the battle classes to max level, right? But, like, I've done this plenty of times since it's been changed as well, but I've not done it as a leveling character, as someone that's, like, actually meant to be here. You know what I mean? So not only did I do this, I get to do the the previously we used to have to fight Lahabrea after the second phase. And it was all part of the one big instance. But no longer have to fight Lahabrea anymore as a party. And that's a solo instance which I'm gonna to have to do, and I actually can't wait just to see it. At any time I could have done it on jam as a new game plus, but Well, that's why I'm doing this character. as well make the fun out of it, you know. Pew. Pretty much just want to get to it. This won't be a long one today. I'm just going to get through some story bits till there's a good point to stop at. So that when I'm bored, I can just go on this and do roulettes on this character. You know what I mean? Because I've got classes and jobs I'm going to need to get to catch up. Case in point, my summoner's eight levels behind where I should be questing. As much as I'm going to be doing the entire next patch as a dragoon. Well, no next patch, sorry, the next expansion, I should say, as a dragoon. Because it's Heaven's Word, it's the dragoon expansion. No matter what you say. Um, I'd still like to have my summoner, because that's my main at max level. It's just a satisfying class to play at that level. Everything I do feels that like I'm exploding the world. It's great. And I'm not really a fan of the way Black Mage plays, but I have to give it credit. The spells of the Black Mages just feel as impactful and fun. I do love my Red Mage, though. I really do. Well, Red Mage is fucking amazing. But I don't know why folks did... It was, I think it was a hard switch for me, but choosing one or the other between Red Mage and Summoner, it was it was very close. I think it is just the fact that Max Level Summoner gets the actual fucking summons, and the sort of implications of what that means, and storyline-wise, how far I've came as a Summoner at that point, that feels good to do, which is why I like it so much. Makes sound silly, but that's just that's just how my brain works, and that's how it. It won out over Red Mage, even though Red Mage is bloody stunning. All of its spells are a spectacle, 
it sort of feels more flashy and quick. Whereas the summoner just feels like it feels effort. Let's blow the fucking room up. What's the strongest thing you've got in the, the red mage? It's a melee combo. Very, very flashy melee combo, which is cool as hell. Then you get these really cool, impactful endings, but they're only at the end of combos. It's like, eh, well, whatever, I guess. But they do make the class worth it. That was a real difficult choice for me to make back at the beginning of Endwalker. Because previously, before this expansion, I fucking despised Summoner. I, I just couldn't be bothered reading through all their buttons to work out what the hell was going on, where and when. It was a nonsense. Like, I had my entire bars all the way up there, all the way up there, all the way up there, and there were spillover buttons. That's how bad it was, and that's just, that's just no fun, man, that's no fun. I'm sure it was to some people, I don't want to discredit them, they might have, like, for instance, one of them, the general Gordon, he played Summoner as his main before Endwalker, and it was his favourite class, and I'm just like, nah, it's, it's bollocks. I love the new summoner, but he doesn't like the new summoner, and it's like, well, whatever. Both opinions are equally valid. It's just that one of them's now the active summoner, and the other one's in the past. Just sort of leaving them out, but people still play and love the summoner. And it's now my main. <laughs> I say generally, I, I've got everything up to max, but I say I've got five mains, quote unquote. The only ones I usually play is I'll play Dragoon for anything level 50 and 60, Dancer for 70, 80, 90, Healer for when I'm with people for whatever's needed essentially, but generally I wouldn't do anything like raids or anything. Dark Knight for anything. Normally that's getting used in raids when I'm uh, off tanking for a vet. And then Summoner, which is only for level 90 stuff, because compared to Dancer at lower level, the Dancer's f more fun at lower level than the Summoner is at lower level. Because, you know, before level 85, you're summoning out what are called Eggies, uh, until like, I, th I think it's, it's, 85, it's 82 or 85, you're summoning out sort of like, characterizations of the Primals. Whereas you hit that point eleven, it's like boom. There's the whole fucking primal. You get fucked, and suddenly all your spells go from still being pretty impactful and big and damaging to just being oh my days, what did I just do? Oh, I think I just broke the world. And I like that. And plus, you get a wee kind of follow up combo move at higher level in the summoner, which you don't get until like eighty seven or something. I like it. I, I like it. Is what I'm saying. What other casters is there? It's just to see, isn't it? Yeah, because Blue Mage is a kind of a limited job. That's the kind of joke job. Machinist is cool. That was actually the one I started the expansion with. Because I was looking so much for it. I played a lot of Machinist last expansion. Um, and one thing that I always said about it was the first part of your AoE was kind of crap. You had two buttons. It was like one, one gener well, no generator. Just one general spam, and then a, a spender for AoE, and it was literally just just firing in a wee code in front of you. It looked rubbish. So level 81, it changes to just a full-on shotgun. We just go, and that made it amazing. That that made it really fun. <laughs> I genuinely loved that. Um, then obviously you get another great big button. Like that's what the machinist is basically. Great big buttons, and then you get through your combo until you've got your heat gauge, then you just attack fast. Then you go back to your big buttons again. But one, basically, a, it's, a, it's a chainsaw gun. You just fire it like two big chainsaw blades. And that goes on with like your air anchor and stuff. It's just great big high potency fuck you buttons. Really cool. Um, Archer, obviously, that turns into Bard. It's kind of neither, neither here nor there. It's the sort of class I would love to play, but I find myself getting a bit overwhelmed when I play it sometimes, because I don't play it enough to practice it. If I played it enough to practice, yeah, it'd be quite fun. But I play it every now and again just for, yeah, that was fun. But I don't play it enough to remember everything and play it optimally, if that makes sense. 
die optimally. That's the word I'm trying to say. Because basically you go through your your dances. I got a text. You go through all your dances. When you get through your dances, you get different buffs and uh, abilities to use. Like one of your main abilities changes, or another ability becomes usable because your gauge is changed. And at a higher level, you get for every dance you go through fully, you get uh, a symbol that changes one of <laughs> one of your other abilities. You use all three of your symbols up with a, a gauge, and it enhances the potency of one of your your other spender abilities. It's cool. It's fun. It's flashy. It's interesting. You're mainly there for the buffs. No, that is the main thing. Hey, yeah, beefy. But eh, Archer ultimately no really for me anymore. But I will play every now and again just for a hmm. I feel like making the noise. I'm just going through classes and stuff now while I'm waiting in a stupid queue. Nah, I'm just. I'll just do it. I'll, I'll leave you to Volden. I'm just going to date his queue since I've. You know, already went over the average wait time. It should be popped many times soon. It did feel fucking epic last night. It actually felt amazing. I know I was there with someone that had no business being there, but at the same time, just... I saw it, alright? That's what it was like. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's twice I've been texted, so something must be up. Oh. I will listen to that later. Mm. And we really are missing a f physical range. Or another caster. I believe. Make sure you didn't die. Well, and you done that very well. And it felt great. Still amazing that we went through it in about the same time. That we would have run a group though. That that made me giggle. This queue is taking the piss out of me, man. I think this was average wait time five minutes when I started. Talking of tanks and event, that's who was in chat just now. For um, he's a big fan of his Marauder into Warrior. I do love the Warrior. Let's get some really satisfying buttons, but this expansion just feel like the Warriors are. Goddamn invincible. Where's my leg bleeding? What the fuck have I done? Uh. <sighs> Get some sanitizer on it. Ooh, that stings. Ew, that stings. Ew, that makes sense, stings. Yeah, the, you just kind of buff yourself up, and the amount of party white stuff it gets now, that's how Yvette was able to basically keep me alive while I soloed. Praetorium, basically. <laughs> Gets the what is it shake it off? Makes me lets me absorb a hit or you absorb the damage for me or something. Then you've got there's that there's like a, a two hundred potency heal, which also comes with like a fifty potency hot that goes on for a wee while after it. And I don't know, I just there's the, all of your other like I'm not going to take damage buttons for the warrior. Feels like it's much more survival oriented than say. Dark Knight. My Dark Knight's good. But you can see its limitations sometimes if you put me right next to it. I can reduce the damage I take a lot, but my ability to heal myself is very limited compared to uh, the Warriors. I do have, it's like what, what the Dark Knight can do though is, is a party weight magic reduction or just a flat out. Tanks get Rampart. I've got like a, a lesser version of that that I can put on myself or another party member. So that if I'm there with a vet taking a tank buster, I can put my oblation on me and him and then put my tank buster up and then we take even less damage for it. I've done it sometimes and a vet's not taking any damage from like a, a current raid tank buster, which is amazing. But other than that, the Dark Knight's just about flinging out big meaty hits. Can't really say much about the pally and the gunbreaker. Oh, hello, Beefy. Yeah, it literally popped as you logged there, I guess. I thought that. 
tank wasn't it going to click that? I was going to go nuts. <laughs> Hey, hey! Uh, we've got a lily hole. Bear witness to the true power of the Ultima Weapon. No. It's time to get poked. Feel the might below. Well, you know how sometimes you see the whoopsie? You see those really cool videos of folk doing, like, recording this, but, like, it seems like they're recording it from, like, a third person floating in camera perspective. Makes the whole fight look really cool. I guess maybe you can just do that with practice, but. Uh. Ah, dang it. I wanted to see if the fairs would go off mid air there when I jumped, but. Yeah, I figured it would have been something like that, but like, are they just, I guess, spectating someone? Or are they actually part of the fight, like, deed off to the side controlling a floating death cam or something? I am at the front of the boss. Let's not do the dragoon thing. No, it's just something I find interesting. Because I do watch a lot of like people, well, the music basically, but people always have like a version of the fight in the background. And it looks cool. How you going on with your artifact stuff, actually? Still going through books, yeah.
just think, man, it'll be worth it. And you get a pretty weapon at the end of it. I love how what the voice line says is different to what the subtitle says. Because I've got plot armor. Was your own fault that was necessary for my God to be reborn. Damn you, Asian. The hour is at hand. Behold, but a sliver of my God's power. Was not his intention. He said the thing. Oh, Hydaelyn, it seems the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. Van Belsar, your enemy's shield is broken. The rest I leave to you. We will speak. But first, I must deal with you. I'm a bunny. Who is mightier remains. Come, adventurer. Let us find the answer together. I 
love this song. It's so cheesy, but it's so cool. Angry rabbit. That doesn't sound right, does it? Probably certain the cell goes in and summers. See? Slightly too early. Uh, no, not Ultima. I did the thing, and I liked it too. No, no, no. 
I have been pet. Oh no, heed me. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence, and their dependence comes at a cost. Yeah, this is bad. I'm looking forward to be. The misguided elevate the frail, and the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control, the cycle will never be broken. You, you of all people must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. Hey, two player comes. See what this is like? No. This is no to well, technically it's no territory. Pathetic. Pathetic. You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon. The ultimate magic. Still, you failed. So much for the glory of man. The growing imbalance afflicting the planet must be redressed. If it is permitted to worsen, the very laws of existence both etheric and physical, will be warped beyond all recognition. Know you the root of this corruption? Hydaelyn. Like a parasite, she must be burned out if the planet is to recover. And not but the return of the one true god will ensure her complete excision. Yet, to pave the way for the Master's return, a chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about, and that will necessitate the presence of the Primals. Needless to say, both you and your Scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. You will not leave this place alive. Hee <laughs> hee. Exciting. See, this bit used to be an absolute joke. You used to just kind of dogpile him. This actually makes La Havre look intimidating.
do we find out the name of the god? Stormblood, doesn't it? I don't think we hear the name Zodiac until, like, much later on. Could be wrong, I suppose. I think it's Emmett Selk that tells you the name. Oh my god, spoiler. <laughs> This feels like it could have just been made a trial on its own, you know what I mean? Hmm. Am I about to wipe? Oh dear. Um, I broke it. Kaboom. Yours was always a vain struggle. Whoops! <laughs> Maybe we should move that button away from... <laughs> away from a backflip. <laughs>
commentary. I realized I didn't really read that dialogue though. Basically, if I kill La Habrea here, the only one actually dies would be Frendo. Vangrid. Who, even though I've just done it recently, I don't know if he was always controlled by the time we meet him. You know what I mean? I still wish that in these kind of ones, these kind of sections, they would give the limit break. I just think that's the only thing that would make it better. Just to be extra button version of the limit break. It'd feel epic as fuck. If thou wouldst pierce the shadows, make thee a blade of light. <laughs> Symbology. <laughs> Dweeb. With the power of NERD! Go Captain NERD! Oh yeah, we should probably go here. Huh? Take the baby. Hey!
And so my conquest ends, Sid. In smoke and ashes. for the unclosed brilliance of thy spirit. Yet it lingereth still beyond the sight of men in forgotten corners of the world. In the depths of the abyss yet resideth the Dark One, watchful ever. Till this evil be cast out, never shall the world know aught but a passing peace. Yet, for the present, a gentle light shineth o'er the realm of Eorzea. With thee at its heart. From sparkling moat shall it swell to glorious sun. And all the world shall bask in its warmth. Blessings and joy be upon thee. Go forth, my child, and be as a beacon of hope for Eorzea and the lands beyond through all the days of thy life. Twin Adder units have fallen back to the outer perimeter. The flames have completed their withdrawal, General. Admiral, all hands accounted for. He's still in there. Sid, has there been no word? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Terrible sorry lads, I was busy vividly hallucinating. Damnation! Don't ever speak again. He's going to make it, I know he is. Ida is right. We must have faith. Sid, can they not be evacuated aboard the Enterprise? That adventurer and the Scions are as the Warriors of Light reborn. We cannot abandon them to their fate. Not again. I wholeheartedly agree. But flying into the midst of that would only add to the fireworks. There must be something we can do. Please, Mother Hydaelyn. Please light his way through the darkness. Look into the light, my child. If thou would see thy companions return safe to thee, reach out to them now. There! Oh! I told you not to speak anymore. Also, you guys might want to get the fuck out of the way of that. Or you are going to be left extra crispy. Yay! Our warrior of light. Yes, the hero returns. Look, Darkrid is with him. Point. Thank the twelve. Stop it! You're not allowed. Thank Hydaelyn. 
Welcome home. I don't know why I've just decided to hate on Papa Lemo. Just thought it'd be funny. One time, remember? Now, now, we both know that was your fault. Thank the Twelve, we're safe. Mind your horns there, manbull. Uh, mayhap when you mind your manners. Though the crystal that bound Thancred is no more, I doubt we can say the same of La Habrea. And even if we could, we know that he is not alone. Confounded Bassians. Their god may be unknown to us, but there's it's so freaking weird seeing him with it. Alice a complaining beside somewhere. It would be folly to assume that he no longer pose a threat. <sighs> Nevertheless. For now, we must savor what peace we have won, however ephemeral. Do you see, Grandfather? Our first step towards realizing the dream for which you gave your life. serve to remind us of our shared history and let their bravery in the face of adversity inspire future generations doubt not the realm will need bravery in the days to come old rifts threaten to divide us within our walls while hordes of beastmen claw at our gates and though the black wolf be slain the rest of the pack remains Yet no foe need we fear, so long as we stand as one. So long as the Scion stand for peace. So long as our champion stands fast. For there exists no adversity over which we may not jointly prevail. No longer can we turn a blind eye to the suffering of our allies. No nation stands alone. If one should fall, so shall we all. Eorzea is our shared home. For any one of us to know peace, so too must our neighbor. Sam Regal. Just as we join in solidarity before you this day, so too shall our grand companies be joined henceforth to strive not only for the good of mere nations, but for the good of all the to protect the people within the nation. Change will not come overnight. Yet I foresee a day, not so very far from now, it's when the lines that divide our lands fade, and all of Eorzea is one. It has been but five short years since the Battle of Cartano. Five years since the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. No victory, however sweet, can wash away our bitter sorrows. No triumph can reclaim those we lost. Oh, it's only a couple of weeks for Final Fantasy 16. Yet, do not presume you honor them. 
by dwelling on the past. It was not the past they fought for. You would repay their sacrifice by looking to the future. The future united as the warriors of light united in the champion. Now is the time for us to rise as one, bearing all of Eorzea on our shoulders. Five years ago, Eorzea bore witness to the end of the Sixth Astral Era. Now, the Seventh Umbral Era draws to a close, yet we come together not to glory in its end, but to mark a new beginning. Dang it, Roban. Are you so cool? Let it be writ that on this day, by the light of the crystal, Eorzea ushered in a new era. The seventh astral era is come. And thus is ours a realm reborn. They said the thing. Yay. That feels good. See, you know, I've actually done this for myself and not skipped. I know people always say, like, the next bit's just a chore, the getting up to heaven's words. There's just a lot there, but honestly, if I can get through the shadow, fucking, <laughs> no, the shadow bringers, the uh, storm blood bits, which felt like an eternity, I'm sure I can get through this, no bother. Especially now that I'm kind of hyped for doing it, you know. And as I saw post game stuff, I have literally, absolutely, 100% no qualms. About dragging a very powerful warrior, or dragoon, or whatever along to just maul the bosses. The first time I heard this song wasn't in these credits. I kind of want that image of effort there as like a background. <sighs> oh, get to go to Ramu. Because I've never really had the context of why we fought him. I just kind of had to go and get him unlocked. Oh, 
Oh, and Odin as well, actually. Hey, Lauren. That's because that's all I said. Just kind of vibing it with the music just now. They made the end of this a lot better. Doesn't mean I'm anywhere near done with Realm Reborn. So much I need to get done before I can actually start Heavensward. And I've also got the raids, and the dungeons, and the Alliance raid. As much as I like doing those, it's a lot, man. Good song, man. I'll take a sip while it's done now. So, yeah, hi, Lauren. You doing alright? You've basically just missed three fights. <laughs> but those three fights were the last ones for the first patch of Realm Reborn, so 2.0. Me, it's warm. I need a squish. <laughs> Wang. You and Cameron are going away for a wee while, I. Eh? 
wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Nice. Enjoy yourself. You practice dump on your Spanish? Just don't do what I do as soon as I go over there, I guarantee you I'd forget everything I'd been learning. I shit happens to me all the time. Marty, woo! Noche! Bloody hell, man. <laughs> That's too many Z's. Skipping a bit for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I figured that's what it would have been. Oops. For the purpose of YouTube, let's say all those names, the A to Z there, were the people that played to the end of 1.0. Can I do stuff, peace, Kenny? What is it? No time to spare. Where is it coming from? Up. Dread tidings, chaos and carnage. It is an abomination. A primal, a primal has awakened. <laughs> yes. Pipe, 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 pipe. <laughs> Bitch. Ah. 
Yes, Bahamur. One other's move, star. Franza, look up, I keep hands at all dawn, Zul, Ukdorn. We next of Chemov, the only cause the poor's right ball. Zodiac, right. Did they say that then? And thus did Dawnbreak and a realm reborn. I would have it immediately shot upon. Oh, hello. Hello, me and Philia. Oops, sorry, I forgot this wasn't going to be voiced. The Archons have conducted a preliminary investigation into the origin of the roar that rang out during the celebration. Their findings strongly suggest that a new prime has appeared. The roar generated a distinctive wave pattern in the ether, a pattern observed only once before in history, five years ago to be precise. I should like to think it mere, a mere coincidence, yet we cannot discount the possibility. Well, I trust I need to say no more. A great sacrifice. We have delivered to yours here from the threat posed by the Empire and the Primals. At great sacrifice, we have delivered Eorzea from the threat posed by the Empire and the Primals, and thereby secured peace. We cannot well allow the realm to be plunged into chaos once more. You have given your all for our cause, risking life and limb on I know not how many occasions. Yet our struggle continues, and we need you now, no less than before. Please continue to stand with us, and together, we shall safeguard the future of the realm, of this very star. No, I'm going to live in a gold saucer. Fuck you guys. Flying unlocked. Hurry! Achievement unlocked, Warrior of Light. Wonderful. <sighs> Oops, hold on. You had a blue quest, a recurring problem. Re emerging primals, right? This is just heroics, isn't it? Savages, sorry. Scarce had a chance to rest, but I'm afraid there's still work to do. Ultimate weapons destruction, it would seem, have served to embolden the beastmen who now seek to call down their gods once more. Even as we speak, the Amo Ya, the Excel, and the Kobolds are making preparations for their respective summoning rites. And that is but half of it. Which, to our dismay, all three tribes are somehow able to procure vast quantities of crystals. Cassians! Cassians! <coughs> Oh, my turn to say something? <laughs> Basically, that means the primals will be stronger than they were before. Far, far stronger. The previous incarnations will seem pale imitations. The beast tribes, we believe, began hoarding crystals with a vengeance, and the wake of Ultima weapons made an appearance. You remember that as the time it devoured three primals in one sitting. 
the ground company is aware of the potential prime lip break. Alas, due to the loss of the incurred to ensure the success of Operation Archon, they are ill-equipped to take any meaningful measures. After deliberation, the leaders concluded they must needs turn to us once more. To thee. The etheric waves that are observed the Mordona do not appear to bear a connection to any beast tribe, yet much more still remains beyond our knowing. We must prepare for all possibilities. I am loath to send you a of danger again so soon, but none have proven themselves more capable against primals than you. We undertake this mission. Eat. Yeah, my thanks. Truly don't know, do not know what we would do without you. Die. With circumstances as they were, I hadn't a chance to properly express my gratitude. I owe you my life. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. During your fears left me feeling powerless. I wanted to be stronger, that I might do right by my fellow signs. Instead of causing no end of grief and suffering, I swear to you, it shan't happen again. According to everyone's ministrations, I am quite recovered now, and hope to return to my duties again soon. So I guess he wasn't always possessed. <laughs> Thank return turn marks the beginning of a new chapter for the Scions. Let us renew the fire in our hearts and continue to press ever forward. Now then, back to the matter of the primals. With no fewer than three of the beings threatened to appear, it is easy to feel overwhelmed. We must take one step at a time. Now the Angie has an overview of the situation as it stands. Please speak with him to receive guidance on your mission. Okie dokie. Here we fucking go. It pleases me to see you well. Do excuse me for interrupting, my lady, the gentleman from Ashgana Exports has just left. You understand know why you didn't want to receive him. He did well. Please inform the guards we will not be receiving any further guests this afternoon. Yokie dokie. Bye bud. Bye bud. Ever since we defeated guys from Balsar and destroyed the ultimate weapon, the eyes of the world have followed a rubber move. Scarce remembering to blink. Where once we worked in secret, with precious few friends and all too many enemies, we are now besieged by benefactors. Each one more eager than the last to offer us complete support. A true embarrassment of riches. Of course, every promise of patronage comes with a price. Some make their intentions known from the start, while others endeavour to engage us more subtly. Dress in how they will, the message is ever the same. We shall help you all if you help us. The gentleman Tatarus spoke of was one of the more brazen than most. In exchange for certain supplies, he would have us resolve business dispute. Naturally, I refused him, as I have every other merchant of his ilk. Alas, the Syndicate's overtures are not so easily rejected. When we formed the Science to St. Don, it was with the goal of serving Eorzea, not the interest of individual Eorzeans. Our neutrality is fundamental to our cause. In my heart, I know this to be true, and yet, and yet, have accepted these offers of patronage could empower us to do greater good. But I do not warrant greater consideration. Nah. Fuck him. The Baldeshian colleagues have been generous beyond measure. You can't expect them to. Forgive me, didn't mean to burden you so. Yet my urge to share this dilemma might not be wholly misguided. Might I impose upon you to consult the others? They'd like to have their own opinions in this matter. Hey, what tabs are you talking about? What am I opening? What tabs are you wanting opened here, Brief? I'm confused. You talking about these? I'm leaving them from a summoner when it's high enough level to open them. Thanks. <laughs> 
expanded view. Open the full bag. No, I don't like that. I prefer the, the two bags side by side. It's easier for my eyes to follow. Uh, well, a man of base man, we won't seek the power. We are wanting to seek power when plunged into the black death. Now, remember why I called you Yuna, Ginger, for a while? Speak normally! Someone different. Thankard, seek his counsel. Okay. It has the law to the powerful to attract the covetous as well as the needy. Must of prudence dictate that those with power prefer aid with one hand, whilst the other reserveth ever on their hilt. Alas, we have not the luxury of time to decipher our petitioner's machinations. Nay, not where the beast cherubs do labour unseen, to find and defeat, to find and defeat, to raise up their fallen primals once more. I doubt not that they shall return stronger and bolder both. Not that we shall be the ones to meet them. The sacred charge shall ever be ours. It is but a pity we are so few, and our fortune so finite. Friend to the dawn, hear my plea. Tidings most ominous arrive from Gradenia. A primal walketh the shroud. Those who have borne the eldritch spirit witness, and return to tell the tale, about to ne'er before have they seen its like. God's cover doth investigate as we speak, and meseems Bolord Lewin would welcome capable adventurer at helping hand. Pray hie thee to the seat of the first bow, and shine thy light upon the matter. If a blood day must. I've got wee sneaky tickets to get back here. I'm going to go around and unlock stuff, I think. I think that's probably a good step forward. I know that I'm level 51, I can do the Wanderer's Palace, which I unlocked two streams ago. Technically. Ooh, it's red. If you don't mind my saying, it seems you've been waiting for stimulation of light. Aye, the air of Topper about you is quite palpable. Adventurers are as next of kin to explorers, my friend. Like us, you need regular doses of excitement, as you're likely to shrivel up and die. I would hate to see that happen to you, so I will tell you of a place that will surely set your heart racing, Ambador Keep. It is a ruined fortress situated in the South Shroud, dating back to the Fifth National Era. If a thought of delving the past sets your loins afire, <laughs> that will keep well served to quench it. That keep will serve, surely serve to quench it. The entrance is watched by a wood whaler named Maxine. Give her my name, and she will tell you all you need to know. It's time. How fares the adventure late? Gear holding up against the rigors of the trade? Make no mistake, my friend, the quality of your weapon may well prove the difference between life and death. If you're serious in such things, someone I can introduce to. Her name is Rowena, and she's the collector of all manner of rare artifacts. She might just have something in her stock to suit your martial prowess. Rowena used to do business in Ulda, but has since relocated to Revenant's Toll so as to be nearer the, to the ancient ruins from which she derives her livelihood. Should you ever have reason to go there? You do well to pay her call. It's time, it's time, it's time! Ah, nothing like staring at the sea, bring an old man back to his glory days. Good old times when whole life still lay ahead of him, the greatest adventure were yet to be. Hello. Do you know better than to sneak up on your elders? You trying to send me an early grave? Well, not early, but... Don't tell me. I can see it from like you. You're an adventurer, and an accomplished one at that, yes. I. You may not be the greybeard I am, but I reckon you've a memory or two you'd keep on remembering. Join me for a while before you return to the road. That all sometimes reflect on the past can be just what you need to discover the path you'd forge to the future. Pardon? Ah, okay. And that's it for here, right? Ye, 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 no, ye. You know? You know, no. No, you? Yeah. You yeah, know. Right. More donuts, please. More 
Maradona. Flying motorcycle! Wait, for now, you can get patched to the side in favour of. That's fashion accessories. That's not what I wanted. I wanted mountain riding, motherfucker. Sounds like it can fly, it doesn't matter too much right now, you know. Okay, who are we favouring? Definitely the crab. Definitely the crab. Uh, oh, I like it. Shut up. It's fat cat time. Up at the very least. Do I know you? Ah, unless I'm mistaken, you're the famed adventurer that bested the Garling Empire's general, did you not? Great Dermot Dine himself. Amazing. A little more serendipitous. One might even call it fate. I but recently received word of a truly unique opportunity, you see. An opportunity like the like of which none but one of your proven worth could take advantage. The reward? Not less than the accumulated knowledge of the fallen civilization. The risk? A single step could cost you your life. Was a little danger to a story hero such as you. A man with absolute confidence in his own ability stands to profit handsomely from this venture. No, no, I crave no recompense for my part in bringing this opportunity to your attention. The historic discoveries you shall make will be reward enough, I assure you. If my words fan the flames of your curiosity, I bid you seek a man named Rambrose at Sins at St. Connick's Find. It is he who stands in the doorway of untold marvels awaiting the arrival of a champion bold enough to march across the threshold. It's the Alliance Raider. Oh my god, what is it? Oh, oh scary. Scary room. Oh. <sighs> the repetition procedure. In fact, is there a reason I'd like to introduce you to someone? I'm at the end of the bar wandered in here the other day I said he was speaking inspiration for a new ballad. The sort only adventure of distinction could provide. Who better than a man who saved the world to give this minstrel the stories he seeks? Here are the gentlemen. <laughs> Nobody listens to the bard. Ah, oh, fine. Dawn may yet banish even the darkest night, yet ever shall primer desires burn. To a sword shall vie to lay them low. A blade born of light and a blade forged of might. Alas, man may entrust his fate unto but one. Unless you wonder these are the words are gone, Louis Wall. Well not written as poetry, I find poetry within them nonetheless. Years ago when I arrived in this land, I was present with peril day and night, forced to endure countless trials which tested my mind, my body and my faith. And I am not ashamed to admit that I would have faltered had it not been for the help of a handful of nameless adventurers, honest men and women who pref prof preferred the hand of friendship to the weary soul and led them safe from the darkness. When I look upon you, I am reminded of them. I can tell that you are well travelled and possessed of both constancy and character. You're a man of the adventuring profession, yes? I seek a valiant hero whose deeds might serve as inspiration, and I have reason to believe I have found him. After all, was it not you who faced Gaius van Belcher and his elegant weapon? You must tell me everything. Everything that happened. I met an area a single detail. Babble, 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 babble. Truly a tale worthy of legend, much as writings of Archon Lewis were. Yes, yes, yes. The Black Wolf was a conqueror who aspired to rule through a might, and the weapon was key to his ambitions. Yet the end of people of Eorzea entrusted their fates to the brilliant blade, the Warrior of Light. Fate, a rather fitting moniker, in my humble opinion. Thank you. At last I found the inspiration I sought. A battle to decide the fate of the realm. The words, the notes, I felt them come together. Your tale is your song. From an era long forgotten, a blade of midnight drawn, from a distant land uncharted, a warrior who bears the dawn. Ye. Ye, 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 ye. <sighs> Stay this man. Oh my god. <sighs> ah. That's an illustrious. Industrious ant. What? Hold on. 
Ah, there's an industrious ant. An adventurer in need of a bit of business, if I'm not mistaken. The ant hill you want is Al Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. Something's kicked it over good. Put out word for adventurers. Have skill, will move fast. That sort of thing. Perfect for you, a warren. The client? A bit of a handful. I might aggressive, but nothing you can't handle. The twins. You find them in the miners' guild. Talk to blah, blah, blah. He's the milder of the two. Adventure can hold his own in battle. Just so happens I've got word of a new challenge for one of your talents. Requires a bit of travel and a dash of heroics, but it'll be worth your while. Eastern Thanalan's lovely this time of year. You've heard of the training grounds in Halitalia, wager. Oh, hello. Place fell into disuse after the calamity. But some adventurer or another put it to rights. Its owners aim to train gladiators and adventurers once more. Just as the olden days. A little paint, a little mass burial, and now the place is ready to take on challengers. If you're keen on the notion, go and speak to my friend Earth down below. He'll get you to the door. <laughs> I've seen more and more visitors of this godforsaken place of lately. Most of them battle hardened types seeking a worthy test of their mettle. I trust that I might count you among them. Look, you didn't hear this from me, but word has it the Copper Bell Mines are looking not unlike the Eighth Hell in recent days. Stone torches have as believe that they have matters under control, but a miner acquaintance of mine with beg to differ. He says the torches have proven far more adept at quelling rumours than Hecaton shares, if you catch my drift. Why did I betray this knowledge you? I fear for my friend's life, and mine own as well, should those hulking monstrosities break free to the surface. If it's a challenge you seek, what so you accidentally find your way to Copper Bell and prefer your services? Okie dokie. Oh my god, what? What is this? What is this? Oi, oi, oi. <sighs> By the onion. The very man I seek. How do I know the pot banger? Why, we train together in the Culinarians Guild. He has a place in Costa del Sol now, the Flying Shark. Not the sharpest knife in the block is Drist, the daft, but he's loyal. He's got a friend out there by the name of Whisket. He seems to be in need of your help. You go look him up. Uh, got a message from an old friend of mine. He needs your help for an important task. Highly confidential business, so I can't give you his name. Let's just say he's well known in Limsa. Odds are you'll recognise him. I'm not at liberty to divulge any more. You have a mind to take the task, however, head over to Limsa and seek out a bloke named Denston. That's not my friend, mind you, but one of his men. <laughs> it's definitely pirates. He couldn't have come at a better time. A friend of mine, mine s a friend of mine sent the word that he needs a capable adventurer, you see, and I naturally thought of you. Who's this friend, you ask? None other than Commodore Rayner of the Yellow Jackets. He and I met back when I first started out as a culinarian. We've been friends ever since. Anyway, I'd appreciate if you pay him a visit and inquire as to what he needs doing. You find him in the Coral Tower with his Yellow Jackets. <laughs> I seek a certain adventurer for a cause most just. You know, Dermid? I thought you had the right ethic. Was you who played the thief in the night at the stone vigil? The dragon's guard there keep jealousy, it said, yet you slipped unseen into the cloudy fortress. It will not be their keep for much longer, however. The forces of Ishgard amassed by the sea of clouds. Now, this is few years only, but the blockade is but a prelude to an attack. Lord Drillmott commands the siege. He would have your counsel. I am but one many who seek you at his behest. You must be a man of rare quality. Proud knights of Durin there are not accustomed to talk to taking, let alone seeking outside help. This guard is it is the cradle air I breathe, and I yearn to see the stone vigil reclaimed from Dravanian Horde. Will you not go to the White Brim front and aid Lord Drillmont? Sure. Oh, for fuck's sake, does that another one just appeared? <sighs> oh, forgive me. Travel 
after a shout, a man accosted me out of nowhere. His eyes darted wildly in fear. He spoke of a haunted mansion from which the tortured screams of young maidens could be heard day and night. Hawket Manor, was it? A Hawk Manor, yes. What's that? You purged the same self same manse? I don't know what that word is. Of its unholy inhabitants a time ago. Well, that's curious indeed. The man recounted events as if they'd happened a not day ago. Well, it put my heart to ease knowing the tale was but a fancy born of a few too many flagons of meat. Poor soul had not an air of drunk or liar. Perhaps you know someone could shed light on the matter. Yeah, me. Okay. Hold on, what's my quest log look like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> seen it that choked up in I don't know how long. Oh, this is hilarious. I don't need to do the dungeons and stuff like that off. I'm only going to do the tight the trials and maybe the raids on stream. I'll do the dungeons kind of off stream because they don't add much. If there is some story, I'll summarise it, you know what I mean? When did I come in here? I'm not looking for Rowena. Wow, Brian, well done. Find an edge, sir, you! And then you must be the adventurer of some good skill. My business relies on capable pe people such as you. Just their goodwill, going to share with you a morsel of information. There's a bloke named Geralt, who makes his living in weapons and armour and whatnot. Say his skill is the finest in the realm. It be as it's gone to its head, though. Folks don't take to the man, if you get my meaning. Oh, and he likes his drink and all. Bloody poor got himself in the forge, though. As a young lad, he was cast out on his ear by his master for the crime of craft and finer wares. And that's well pissed drunk. Ever since, he's roamed here and there, earning his keep day to day. I have known Geralt ever since I landed in this business. Ain't seen him for a while though. Last time I did, the fool had tears in his eyes and a snot dripping from his nose. Fallen on hard times, he said. Asked for a bit of coin to tide him over. Never paid me back, neither. Say for sure where he is now. Seems to rem seem to remember here, and he was in the Black Shroud, putting up a Hearst Mill or some such place. Might do well to commission his work. He'll even reforge relics of old if you make it worth his while. Well. There ain't no other in the Orsias that can do that. With the relics you care to know about, I've promise of payment what might catch your fancy. They don't look like much. It'll get your old fire up his forge, that's much I promise. No yeah. shit. Yeah, there we go. Beef, it's time! It is time for the Poké Stick of Legend. He's fucking broke. I keep juttering. Right, ghetto, where the hell are you? You're over there. Oof. Here we go. Oi, ball bag. Got business, have me? Have you? Better be coin or drink in it, else bugger off back where you came from. Restoration work on an old weapon, you see? Makes you think I'd fire up the forge for a grimy old. We're in seven houses to get the promise of payment. I ain't got no coin, I tell you. Not a single bloody gill. Gods, look at me. How far I've fallen. Me, the greatest weaponsmith of our age. Hammering out dents and kettles to pay off a tavern debt. <laughs> can you begin to grasp my humiliation, can you? Bah, of course you can. Why do you even bother asking? Alright, alright, I'll stole your bloody weapon. Let's get that goddamn slip of paper out of my sight.
just make one thing clear. Maybe as I'm repairing kettles to pay for yesterday's mead, I still got my pride as a master weaponsmith. You'll get no less than the finest out of my forge. And it might be as you've got that goddamn slip of paper, but it'll only get you so much. Restoring relics like these calls for some rare old materials, and I ain't got none. So if you want the job done, you'll have to run along and fetch them. What do you want restored? Fancy yourself a dragon slayer, eh? Well, I happen to know just the weapon for you. It'd be quicker if you head to the Holy Seas Blacksmith to pound one out. Your expression tells me there's a reason why you came to me instead. Well, I ain't want to pry in the affairs of Ishgard. Don't fancy being branded a heretic, see? Also, I don't reckon I'd enjoy the view from the gates of Judgment half as much if my head was on a pike. Any road. It's a spear named Gabolg that you be wanting. You can tell it's made of dragon bone. But how it's forged is a jealously guarded secret. Being a genius I am, though, I reckon I can ravel the mystery if I just get my hands on a sample. Now then, did you ever hear of Saint Rainette, the legendary dragoon? I only ask if she's supposed to have wielded the very same weapon. Still the goes the dragon slayer. Hi, beef. Uh, the dragon. Still the goes that a dragon slew her sweetheart, prompting the old girl to seek out the beast what did it and put it down. Having exacted her revenge, they say she thrust her spear into the ground when the battle was waged, giving up the life of a dragoon to become a woman of the cloth. Unlucky for ye, the valley where the spear sleeps is exile territory, a stronghold called Nettleland to be precise. If your desire is strong, to assure you do you know what must be done? Ye. I do know. Ye ye ye. 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 I guess. They were to of burns. Follow me, Squire. I must go get the, the, the normal bit. I need to go get the broken one, don't I? I'm also wearing the weapon I need to hand down, so I'm probably going to need to open one of those weapon coffers, so I'll get something to wear while I hon that one in. Oh no, dangerous exile territory. Whatever will I do? I think it's kind of cool, actually. Join me, be fair. Did I go to the wrong place? I went to the wrong fucking place. No, I didn't. I just. What? Right? What? Oh, there we go. The map was misbehaving. That was fucking weird. the uh, child version of Cucullin, Satanta, should be getting added to the game soon. And the American version, obviously. Yep, 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 you've already said that, ball bag. Love it. Bugger me. Never would have dreamed to imagine you'd actually find the bloody thing. Bah! Have to fire up the forge after all. <laughs> oh my god, pardon me. Having said that, the relics in far more shape than I thought. <sighs> it ain't like to serve in much pounding in this state, truth be told. Be worried about sneezing near it. Gonna need a new host to give itself for the restoration. Champion slams with two grade material. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Dirk, 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 Just quick clear out that. Yes. There's a fine base you've brought me. Aye, just the thing to host your relic. Ding, 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 ding. I've merged what was left of the relic with the host weapon, so the groundwork's done, but don't go jump for joy just yet. There's still more to do. I need to work on the finishing touches. But due to the reinforcement work I've had to do, the weapon's proven rather stubborn to shape. To get round this, I'll be needing some... Alumina salts, a substance made by grinding a rock called alumina into fine grains. Lucky for you though, it. Unlucky for you though, it ain't easy to get a hold of. You may happy already know this, but there's beasties out there what devour their prey whole. Some of them swallow rocks so as to aid with digestion. The Dorm Chimera, what ter terrorizes the central highlands of Kerthus, happens to swallow alumina salts for this purpose. Slay so the bugger and bring me alumina salts. I'll see the finishing touches on your weapon. Dorn Chimera can be confronted via duty finder upon examining the quest destination situated at the Weeping Scent in Kerthus Central Highlands. Please note that the trial of Relic Reborn the Chimera must be completed as Dragoon. Does that unlock it or did it go unlock it? Uh, dang, I guess I need to go unlock that. Um, it was a champion's lance with two savage aim materials, I believe? You should send your quest log, I can't remember what it was, sorry. Again, I, I was using it for the longest time. Um, in fact, it was the one I bought 19 of because it was the cheapest stack. It's Savage Aim Materia 3, mate. You only need two. I've got the materia there if you want it. <sighs> right, where to next? I've got all my quests in Mordona. I've got MSQ to do. I'll, I'll hold off on that. Go to the area. Okay, so Carthus Central Highlands, it said. Strength, her third door is in your debt. Rejoice to know the battle of Stone Vigil has finally begun. First wave has already breached our defences and entered the keep. As depraved a foe as Dravanian Tsar, they have a certain cunning. The palace teems with unbelievers who gladly embrace death merely to deny us a form of advance. We've come to slay, we came to slay dogs, and they are bled by nets. Alright, that's a weird saying, but whatever. Um, there are graver still matters. After a first wave stormed the keep, the enemy sealed the breach behind them. The vigil headgate is now a welter of molten iron and stone sharp as a headsman's axe. We can no longer send reinforcements by land. Danger is great, but we must go by air. I shall lead the second wave. I would hope you would join your strength to ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong place. Where am I going? I genuinely wasn't paying too much attention. I was kind of getting too excited. I might as well get this unlocked while I'm bloody here. Eh? 
Shut up, you. Present here is tonic, pure tonic for the troops. Sure, whatever. Unlock it. Still individual hard. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Okay. Wonderful. Ten out of ten. Jeez, what are they wanting to know? So, where does that want to go beef? I've totally forgot. Um, Enter the duty finder and complete throw a relic reborn. I don't have that. I like people at the end, I might as well. Don't see you on the map. Oh, you're over there. Ha! Owie! Oh, that hurts so much. <sighs> I'm flying in here now. Love me a bit of fat cat. Okay, meta time. That was a nice mount. I like that mount. It's a shouty lad. Yeah. That's <laughs> getting me poetics. <laughs> of course, as I suppose. Salt. Of course, adventure comes back triumphant. Should have bloody known not even the camera would be able to put 
you out of my misery. Hand over the salts, I'll get to work. How bangy, how boomy, how dinky, how dinky. Deed's done. Squeezed every ounce of my skill to restore your weapon. I think you'll agree it looks the part. Yeah, there's something missing somehow. Though I'm buggered finding what. At least just lacks a certain blow, as it were. Wait, quink, nudge, nudge. Need to learn more about the relic. Literature surrounding the heroes associated with it would be a fine place to begin. I ain't exactly a scholar, a scholarly, and haven't the slightest inkling of where to get my hands on such stuff. Which is hate to say it. I mean, there's probably the one to talk to. The thing is, that's in our ship of hot kettles up in the arse sideways. <laughs> and oh, that thrice damned Haradin, another debt. You're gonna have to make yourself useful once again. Take yourself to Rowena and ask for help again. And return here once you've learned something what might be of use. Revenant's Tolly. Looking a bit more run down than before. You're dealing with the old taking the toll. Actually, I forget I even ask. My mouth tastes of bile so much, I think. That sorry specimen. Something you need. Polish my spear. Let's return the old hero who once wielded your weapon. I reckon I can find what you need. Might take a bit of time as well. Of course, I ain't a chariot I'm running here. Okay, you what you want. You have to do it likewise for me. Track down literature on Saint Renet. For your part, you're to bring me an Amphidor, Am Amdapor glyph. Find it inside Amphidor Keep, a ruined castle situated in the South Shroud. Clear on the deal, run along, fulfill your part. Yee. Yee. I think I have that quest. Ghost and Amador. Yep, I do. Skiddly doo. Babbery bop. Mental par favori. I'll go get it unlocked, bruh. Maybe need to get badge one day, get together and just have like a solid group. Just for Palace of the Dead, see if we can get a 50. Just as like a combined effort stream. Your Nedric's recommendation. You must not be without skill. I'd say it's my duty to warn you of the dangers that await. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's bad. Splendor faded to memory. Lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult. Some of the cultists have been even succeeded in summoning void scent. We would willers welcome capable adventurers who'd be willing to keep their numbers in check. Is this a uh, unsynced number, or do we need to be synced for this? Hmm? Ah, too, too shape for that, apparently. Okay. I'll try unsynced. Oops. I'll be able to get gear upgrades here, won't I? If I'm gonna be able to fucking do it. I'm going to bother you so that the big dragoon can kill you. I'm basically just here to look treasure chests, to be honest. Mm, Trager! Up 
his crotch. this place. I've done it once or twice before as a roulette. in my ear. I don't want to get barred. <laughs> hey, demon brick. Uh, I suppose that's an upgrade, isn't it? Yes. Oh, no, it wasn't. Never mind. That was stupid. I'm gonna get him. I got him. Trash as well, then. Yeah, everyone's level 90. Okay. I need left hand side. Because I still have an item level 16 and an item level 18 on. <laughs> I don't think that's helping anybody, to be honest. Hey, that's the stuff that Papa Wim was using. He's not the best in this place, is he? There's a lot of stuff I'm going to work on off camera here anyway, so I'm going to actually end the stream here so I can actually talk to Beef on Discord. So cheers for the watch, folks. Um, this will be up on the YouTube if you want.
want to watch the VOD or whatever, because it was a pretty epic finale in the story. Next stream will do it, I'll actually go on with the... The, that one, the actual MSQ. So I'll be doing everything else until that point. Take it easy! Bye!